Guys, it's the end of the world. 95 Google post this right here. Now, on a real note though, Samsung mostly disables Android 12 L's taskbar when using a third party launcher. This is not a big deal at all. Um, but I want to make a video talking about the taskbar because yes, it's a huge feature in Android 12 L, Android 12, on the brand new Galaxy Z Fold 4. And after going and picking this up yesterday, I will absolutely tell you right now, it's probably the best feature on the phone. So let's start off right away by saying, yes, this is an Android 12 L's feature, but the uh, Galaxy Fold 4 does run Android 12, not 12 L. With that being said though, uh, if you are using third-party launchers, whether that is Nova, whether it is uh, Launcher 10, whether you want to make this phone look like an iPhone 13 Pro Max, whatever the case, you are no longer going to have access to that taskbar. So that quick taskbar launcher, you're not going to have access to it. It actually goes ahead in settings. It will actually show as grayed out and turned off. And the reason why is simply this right here. If you guys ever own a Surface Zero 1 and 2, you know exactly what this is. Pretty much what happens is if you do not turn off background applications, like your taskbar, like certain applications, they will pop up on your wallpaper in the background and absolutely destroy your device. And by destroy, I mean just annoy the heck out of you and get in the way. So whenever you click on something, it will actually click on that too and it will glitch out and it doesn't know what you're clicking on. It's a whole entire mess. So if you are using a third party uh, application in any way or laundry in any way, you're gonna have to turn it off uh, if you wanna use the taskbar. So you guys use stock Android, Unless, of course, you um, just don't want to have the taskbar at all. And as you guys see right here, it does say taskbar. Uh, you can turn it back on if you would like to. It's just an absolute glitchy mess if you do go ahead and do so. And I cannot wait for the future when we start seeing this taskbar be more customized by third-party applications. When the Surface Zero 2 came out, when it first came out, I talked about the glance display and how this was going to be a really cool feature in the future because of third-party, you know, uh, third-party companies out there making it better. Yes, Samsung does a great job at releasing features to these cell phones. Microsoft does too. But at the end of the day, the real goats are usually the third-party companies that come in here and they customize it, kind of like we have the Galaxy Z Flip 4. We have, I think it's called Watch, not Watch, it's called Cover Screen OS, which absolutely takes the Z Flip 3 and 4, the outside display, and makes it into a full-on cell phone on the outside. That is absolutely amazing. I can't wait to see how much more customizable this taskbar can get because you got to keep in mind that yes right now at this moment in time you cannot use it with any stock or oh, sorry any launcher of any kind it has to just be stock there is companies out there there's uh application developers out there who are going to use this taskbar in the future for a lot more than that right so it's definitely going to get exciting but with that being said though yes this again this is probably one of the best features of the galaxy z fold 4 is this taskbar which you might say that sounds really bad and oh my god this phone is absolute trash then no it's amazing feature that's the reason why so whenever you are going from let's say you're an application you want to go back to your home you want to go to your phone your messages and whatever you want to do you can literally customize this taskbar to have any application you want so let's say you have apple music i don't know your camera your google chrome uh messages whatever you can go from one application to the next within a split second. Now, the cool thing is there is a little, as you guys know on any Android phone pretty much, there's a little thing you can slide off to the right-hand side. And there's a little, uh, kind of like a little taskbar on the right-hand side. So, in a way, you're getting two. This one, of course, having more elegant looking and also, again, very customizable. So, I will tell you right now, this is probably one of my favorite features of this brand new phone. It's not, as I said in my review today, after 24 hours, it's not crazy improved from the Z Fold 3. So these little features definitely add up to a lot of goodies added to this phone. But again, like I said, guys, it's not a huge deal. If you are using the taskbar, you got to use stock Android. And until we do go ahead and get an update and we see, you know, this 
actually give us something on like actually give us the ability to customize this taskbar. This is how it's going to be going forward. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next one. Peace out.